Okay, here we've got a Empire Strikes Back carded Canadian 41 back C Luke Skywalker with brown hair. And this pretty rare figure. Rare because it's on a Canadian card and rare, rare because it's got brown hair. It's quite, quite dark brown hair. As you can see there. And it's still got a clear bubble and it's AFA graded, it's archival case because it's a rare figure. There's eight of these on eBay, I mean on our AFA um, population report and there's probably more but so far eight have been graded and this is the first brown haired Luke I've ever had so on the original farm boy figure so it's a really nice figure and you can see the pants are a sort of sand colour and this is one of the first 12 figures so this is the original Luke also known as Farm, by, Farm Boy Luke and more typically he comes with yellow hair and that's the version most people know and then there's the brown haired version there's two variations of the brown hair there's a dark brown and then there's a, a more lighter brown and then there's another version which is the orange haired version which is the rarest out of the bunch there's one on ebay at the moment and that's going for three thousand pounds three thousand three hundred pounds and that's a uk seller so this one didn't cost nothing compared to that but you know still this is a rare figure and there's the label. It says 1980 Kenner Canada Star Wars Empire Strikes Back 41 Back C Luke Skywalker Brown Hair. And the card gets 80, the bubble 75, the figure 80. So the bubble has imperfections on the. just there. On the left hand side. Or my right hand. Or on that side, anyhow. You can see there's a sort of split in the bubble. And it's looks like it's coming away a bit and that's quite common on these Canadian cards especially for the Luke figure so let's see if we can get a better look at him okay got very dark eyes pink flesh holding his pull down lightsaber um, obviously the most uh, valuable version of Luke is the telescoping, telescoping lightsaber on a 12 back card and then you've got the classic image there of Luke staring into the su twin setting suns of Tatooine and that's um, on Return of Jedi cards you get a second picture variation and that is of L called the Gunner card and that comes in the Trilogo card you can get brown haired Luke on some Empire Strikes Back cards some Jedi cards Palatoy cards and uh, on the Trilogo card so, and you can get him loose and graded as well. So, this is just a rare Luke there. Really nice figure. Got a little bit of black on his nose. Black paint, I, 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 I assume. Okay, so, really nice. Let's pull back a bit and get the whole thing in the camera. So you've got the Luke brown hair, really nice figure, and we'll take a look at the back of this item as well. So there's the side profile, orange background, and here's a, um, your typical Canadian 41 back card, so it has there the logo in French so according to uh, Canadian law the la language on the product had to be in both English and French and then you've got pictures of the different figures and uh, these three figures are interesting the Bespin Guard, the Rebel Hoff Soldier and Han Solo you can't really see but those look like prototype figures there's the Luke Farm Boy with yellow hair there Han Solo with a small head there and then the other things you could get the Atat, Snowspeeder, Rebel, 
turret probot playset, Imperial attack base, proof of purchase there, all the different figures, really nice to look at this. I've got a Luke Best spin on this card, similar card, with yellow hair on the walking picture, Canadian as well. So, and a Luke X Wing on a return of, well, a transition card, Canadian. That's, they're both on YouTube as well. But this is really nice as well. So, when we we'll look at the back. And you can just see R2D2 in the corner there. Greedo, Boba Fett, Bespin Luke, Rebel Soldier, Rebel Commander. Okay, so these are foreign cards. A lot rarer than the US versions. And then if we turn the card again, we can look at Luke again. This comes from Canada. It arrived yesterday. I, I, I did a review of it, but the, the file's not working, so I can't, I'm having to redo it now. So uh, that's using a 16 mega gigabyte memory card in the camera. So I'm taking, I've swapped back to the 4 gigabyte. And classic, classic image. I've got Luke's yellow-haired Luke's. So I've got. A uh, 12 back Takara, a uh, couple of Return of the Jedi Luke's, one with Palatoy with this picture, and then w yellow hair, plus the Gunner card with ye yellow hair, plus a uh, 21 back US card, Kenner, and a Glass Lighty Brazilian Power of the Force Luke, which is quite a different figure, but yellow hairs as well. And that figure is made in Brazil. So this is one of my favourite figures. This is a classic, classic figure. Never had this one when I was a kid though. But still, it was always around. And there you can see in the top look, ages four and up, and then in French as well. So Canadian cards are a lot cheaper than other f other foreign cards. They're still fairly pricey, but still compared to like. Meccano cards or um, Clipper cards—they're a lot still. They're more obtainable. And the Luke with the brown hair just looks amazing. You can see the bubble's got a dent at the top as well. You can see how brown the hair is as well. And there, is pristine white costume. And then. Strange that there's they because if you look at the picture and then look at Luke's head there, it looks they look more alike. The color looks more correct, whereas the yellow just looks pretty. Doesn't really look like Luke, Luke but in everyone's mind, the yellow haired Luke is the classic version, and that's what Gentle Giant did with the jumbo size Luke Skywalker. They just went for the yellow haired version. It'd be a good idea if they brought out another version with brown hair, the same figure, but in, in 12 or 14 inches. They could sell it at the San Diego com Comic Convention or something like that. Archival case, because it's kind of r r rare, this figure. AFA population is 8. And if you go on Rebel Scum, there's a few threads about this sort of figure. If you just Google Luke Brown Hair, Kenna Canada, or you can find out as much information as you want about this figure. It's a good, great figure. A nice variation to have. And it looks nice. The guy who sent it, he um, declared it a gift, so I didn't have to pay um, custom charges, which was really good, because I hate the f having to pay custom duty on stuff I get from abroad, well, from the US anyhow, or the Americas, so thanks whoever sent this.
these figures don't come up much and they're quite because uh, it's the, the original Luke everyone wants it especially the brown haired variation and also the Bespin Luke that comes with brown haired and yellow haired versions on the Bespin Luke I prefer the yellow haired version definitely uh, on the, this figure I'll probably say the yellow hair because that's what we grew up with that's still my favourite version but still this is a nice variation for Hot to get and if you've got three, over £3,000 you could snap yourself a bargain well it's not even a bargain it's big money but it's a rare item it's the orange haired Luke I think that's on the Empire Strikes Back US card as well and that just looks like a, the hair colour sort of mixture between the brown and the yellow and they just call that the orange ver 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 variation but that is very rare so if you want to see that go on uh, eBay and um, type in Luke orange hair and you can see one of the rarest Star Wars figures the Luke with the telescoping lightsaber carded that one of the probably top five rarest figures and then even rarer is the Darth Vader and the Ben Kenobi with telescoping sabers those are super rare but still classic classic figure I should be getting a classic or a very rare Han Solo soon so between this Luke well the farm boy Luke the original Princess Leia and the, Han so the original Han Solo, those three are probably my favourite figures. I'm not sure which I'd say is my absolute favourite. Maybe the Han, but... Because I've got a good collection of Hans, but... This... Would, is a sweet item. Let's see if I can get a better picture of the uh, Luke. Without the camera going out of focus. See the lightsaber tips really thin. Got a bit of cardboard between the legs. The Kenner logo with the Canadian address at the bottom. And the Luke Skywalker nameplate. So a really nice item there. Luke Skywalker. Okay, I'm uploading some photographs at the moment from the first batch of pictures I took with, with the original video which isn't loading the video, so I've, I'm just uploading the photographs so you'll be able to t see those photographs in greater detail, but this figure is just sweet, sweet item. Sort of the chocolatey brown hair colour, really nice. I mean, most people will know about this variation. I mean, loose, you're talking about 50, che the cheapest to get a brown haired Luke, it would be about 40, 50 quid. Graded, it goes up to about 100 pounds, 200 pounds. And then, carded, I saw some Palatoy versions of this going for about 450 quid just before Christmas, and they both sold. So rare figure. I think Brian's Toys has got one at the moment. The US 41 back, brown haired. It's a slightly higher grade or better grade. And that's not too bad a price. Okay. There you go, Luke. Hopefully this review will upload now. So I've switched memory cards. I bought that 16 mega meg camp card to, so I could take longer films, but all the files are keep getting corrupted, so I'm having to reshoot on a f this 4 meg card. Anyway, enough of my ramblings. 